everyone. Hope you're having a great day. This video is going to be about trail etiquette on a through hike. Okay, so this is a pretty hot topic in my opinion, something that is pretty important while you're out there, whether you're doing the a through hike of the Appalachian Trail or a through hike anywhere else. Um, you want to know what the trail etiquette is to not make other people uncomfortable or upset and um, just just to be a good hiker in general. <laughs> you don't want to be that, that hiker that is that is going to be annoying to others and, and really try to, well, not try to, but end up ruining another person's experience. So I wanted to discuss some trail etiquette that um, I observed and learned along the way while I did my through hike in 2018. So here we go. Um, first of all, uh, when I've gotten the question, who has the right of way when you're going up a hill and down a hill, um, who has the right of way if the, if the path is narrow, who uh, should step to the side? And typically it's, um, or pretty much all the time, it's more difficult going uphill, of course, and you're getting into that momentum. It is strenuous to go up. So the person that is coming down should step aside so that the person going uphill has the right of way. Also, of course, leave no trace. This is common sense. Leave no trace. You want to, uh, when you go to the bathroom and you go number two, you want to bury that. You want to bury your toilet paper. You don't want to leave um, anything out. That, that is so annoying when you're hiking along a beautiful trail and all of a sudden you see someone else's mess. Um, not cool at all. And that brings me to no littering. Definitely, definitely don't litter. Um, the more people that get out there and, and hike, the more they see the beauty of the world, of the earth, and these trails, and um, they become very passionate about litter, and myself included. And um, whenever you can pick up some trash, please do so you can pack it out, but always pack out your trash. Don't be that jerk that leaves um, trash at a shelter or along the side of a trail or wherever not cool at all um it's just it's just awful awful to do and speaking of that if you do have to go to the restroom if you have to go number one or number two be sure it's way off the trail um, at least 100 feet off the trail away from a water source so you don't want you don't want to contaminate people's water you're going to be drinking that water whatever is going to be going downstream is other people are going to be ingesting and not cool at all if you are using the restroom next to a water source. Um, so just keep that in mind and be careful. Uh, another thing is one of the, a huge pet peeve of people's is music. Uh, you do not want to be blaring your music while you're hiking. Other people around you don't want to hear what you're listening to. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but people are out there for so many different reasons, for self-discovery, they're working through some issues, they're thinking about their life and you don't want to disrupt that um, that mindset by blaring the, the music that you enjoy. So bring headphones, especially when you're at a shelter and uh, you're, everybody's trying to wind down and relax and, and get ready for bed. Um, again, you don't want music blaring. So bring a pair of headphones or AirPods with you so that you can enjoy the music or whatever you, you're listening to, a movie or whatever. Um, but you can listen to it in, in the peace of everybody else. So that would be a good thing to do. Also, while you're at the shelters, try not to curse. Um, that is a pet peeve for some people. We're not um, here to listen to you complain and get all upset about one thing or another. So try to watch your mouth if you can. And uh, that might make everybody else's experience a little bit better. Speaking of that, um, be careful of talking about, or just, I'm not telling you not to, but just be cautious about talking uh, on the topics of religion and politics. You know, we're not out there to get into huge debates or to debate what is right and what is wrong. 
um, a, I've been a part of many discussions that were um, constructive and and interesting and on the topics of religion especially but um, on politics and I, I enjoyed it but just try to be respectful when you are doing that um, a lot of people get very passionate about what they believe which is a good thing but the trail may not be the place and you just want to be cautious about who and where you're you're discussing hot topics like that so boy my my dogs are going to town they they found a tree and, and they're digging it up so yes so talking about politics and religion just just be mindful of what you're doing how you're presenting yourself and try not to get into a big heated debate with other hikers you know you're the last thing you want to do is go out there and get angry and upset with other people or get them upset so that that's just one thing to keep in mind um, also setting up your tent you want to be cautious well you want to respect the land don't set up your tent in vegetation that is fragile. Uh, that's that's a bad thing to do. You know, it is a beautiful trail. You want to preserve it. And one way to do that is to set up your tent in designated places. And that includes not setting up your tent in a shelter. That's just tacky and, and rude. Um, why would you do that? So, you know, don't take up, take over other people's space that could, could have a spot. Even if you think nobody's coming in and you're all alone, somebody may show up late. Um, it's just, it's just kind of tacky and rude to set up a tent inside a shelter. So I would not do that. And um, some things, some, I would say suggestions that are polite. If you are hitching a ride, um, at least what I do and my preference is I offer the people a tip or some money um, if they do give me a ride, they're going out of their way to take take you somewhere um, And they don't have to do that. I think it's a very kind gesture. I always offer So and most of the time nearly every time uh, they don't accept it But it's nice to just offer them a little bit of money for their time and inconvenience <laughs> To to help you out if you can that would be that would be a good thing to do and if you if you are watching this and you have more to add, please add them in the comments so that everybody can learn about other different types of etiquette in, in rules or whatever, whatnot, that, um, that, you can, that we can share with the community. Then also you want to be respectful and mindful of uh, when, there, when certain trails are closed. They are closed for a reason. There will be signs up. If one section for one reason or another is closed, try to um, be mindful of that and respectful and don't go there. A lot of times I saw places that were roped off or taped off um, because they were trying to get the vegetation to grow back up and that was important that people didn't um, trek through it and mess up the ecosystem and whatnot. Um, also with staying, you want to stay on the trail, especially, I saw this up um, in the northern half of the Appalachian Trail. Um, a lot of sections have very fragile vegetation, so you want to be mindful and sure or careful that you stay on trail when you're going through those areas. Uh, like I said, you, we don't want to mess up anything. Like they say, you know, take pictures and leave nothing but footprints. And that that is, you know, important to do. There's so many people that, that are gonna be behind you when you're hiking and you don't wanna mess up their experience. Try to keep in mind, you know, when you're going along and how beautiful and what an amazing experience it is to see this trail and other trails and just the amount of gorgeousness, if that's a word, of, of these trails and how amazing they are. But they're like that because of, you know, people are not destroying them. They're not messing them up. They're not littering. And you don't want to leave, you don't want to leave that for someone else to have to either pick up after you or to ruin their experience. You know, you don't want to be hiking along and see wrappers from candy or wrappers from a, a a protein bar that you ate or toilet paper even worse um, all over the trail it's just it's just not cool so try to do your best with leave no trace
something I wanted to add to this video, a few more tips. First of all, um, when you are passing a hiker on the trail, you want to try to make eye contact. I, I find it rude when I'm looking up and wanting to, you know, gesture hello or give a little wave or say hi, and um, people are just head down and refuse to look at you. It just gives off a kind of a cold impression. So if you want to keep that in mind um, when you are passing someone on the trail, try to make eye contact. <laughs> we got a race going on behind me. Oh my goodness, these dogs. <laughs> Oh, they're so silly. They found a toy to play with at this tennis court. But um, yeah, so make eye contact if you can. Also, don't be a hog on the trail and take up the whole space and not try to move over. Um, I find that very rude. When I am passing somebody, especially if the trail is rather narrow, you want to kind of move over, you know, attempt to at least move over a little bit so that everybody has plenty of room to pass pass each other, especially with um, the recent events, you want to try to keep some distance anyway, so that's a good idea. Also with videotaping, try not to videotape somebody without their permission. If you're coming up to a shelter or if you're making a video out on the trail, if there's other people around, try to ask permission that um, that it's okay for them to be in the video before you actually shoot your, your video and um, it's just a polite thing to do. Some people prefer not to be on the video and prefer to have privacy or not to um, be interviewed or whatnot. And that's totally fine. You know, that's, that's just their personal preference. I don't take offense to that whatsoever. Um, and, you know, but you, you wanna definitely ask before you just assume and go ahead and start video taping. I think it's, it's rather rude to just assume that everybody's okay with it and, and to just go for it. So be sure to be nice and ask. Also, um, one thing to consider, and this is another heated debate thing, is um, giving advice and giving hiker advice to other hikers. Don't be that person that is at the campfire and it's your way or no way. You know, it's you, you've got it all figured out and you have it the right way. And that very well may be the case. And you have a ton of experience and, and you are pretty darn sure that what the way that you do things is the correct way. But just keep in mind that um, there's more than one way to do something. There's lots of different ways to to uh, to hike and to through hike and to carry gear into the way they use the, your gear and sometimes you have to go through a learning curve like I did I had to go through a lot of learning curves <laughs> before I figured out what I was doing out there and what was what kind of system was comfortable with me I changed up my my sleeping system I changed up my food system and how I cooked my food so some people have to go through different lessons before they figure out what they like and everybody's preferences are different but don't be that one person out there that it's your way or no way that's just annoying um, nobody likes that guy or that girl that does that um, you know, it is very kind and wonderful to offer advice to people, um, especially when they ask for it, but don't assume that they have to take your advice. Be nice and offer your advice, but don't assume that they have to take it and use it. You know, just, uh, it's nice to talk about it, especially if people want to know, but don't, don't be that person that thinks that they, they know everything. Um, they may very well know a lot, but a lot of there's way more than one way to do something. So, uh, and another way is not wrong. So just keep an open mind and try to be polite about it. You know, try to make this fantastic journey and trail as good as you found it, uh, if not better. And if we all do that, then we can really preserve what we can and um, make it make it fantastic for everyone that's coming up behind you. I think that's really important. So thank you for watching this video. Please add some more etiquette if um, rules and tips of etiquette that you remember or know of and practice, please leave them in the comments below so that everybody else can learn as well. And thank you so much for watching.